I am Anil Kumar. We will discuss prime factorization in details with the help of examples. Prime factorization is a representation of composite numbers as a product of its prime factors. So, first thing is to understand what is a composite numbers, right? Composite numbers are numbers which have more than two factors, right? So, let me write down here. Composite numbers have more than two factors. Okay. So, we'll see how to write them as product of prime factors. That is the whole thing. Now, we have two different processes by which you could do prime factorization. One is called factor tree. We'll take examples for that. And then the other method is called repeated division. Then we'll take up this question. We'll explore a number which could be written as product of prime numbers. 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 times 7. And we'll check if the number has 8, 32, 25, 42 and 90 as factors of this number. All are not factors, so you have to figure out which are not factors. Is that okay? So you can also pause the video, answer the last question and then look into my suggestions. Well, for factor 3, let me take one example. Let me take a slightly bigger number. We'll have 2, 7, 7, 2. We want to write this number as product of prime numbers. So let us see how we can do it. So what we can do is divide by 2, we know it's even number. Since 72 can also be divided by 4, we could take 4 to begin with, right? So, so in this case, we'll actually divide the number by 4. Since 72 can be divided by 4. So what am I trying to use here? Well, you should be familiar with divisibility rules that is a prerequisite right right but i'll discuss these rules as we move along so we see why it is divisible by four since 72 the last two digits can be divided by four perfect now four times six is 24 so we get three right so 37, 4 times 9 is 36, we get 12, 4 times 3 is 12. So try to do the division, don't use calculator. Now 6, 9, 3, when you add them up, what do you get? So if you add these numbers, what do you get? You get 9 plus 9 as 18, which can be divided by 9, correct? So I could actually divide this number by 9. So if I divide by 9, let's see what do we get. 9 times 7 is 63. And then we again get 63. So we get 9 times again 7. So we get 9 times 77. Well, we know 4 could be written as product of two prime numbers, which are 2 times 2, right? 9 could be written as product of 3 times 3 and 7 we could write as 7 11 right so we could write this as 7 11 so what we notice here that we could get all the prime factors at the end well that is expected if there is any composite factor, you can continue the process. One important thing which you see here is that we could follow any pattern. Do you understand? I divide by 4. I could have divided this by 9. I could have divided this by 2 to begin with. I could have divided this by 6 also. Perfect. So order does not matter. So few things which you should understand here we learn few divisibility rules so if sum is if sum of numbers 
is divisible by 3 then the number is also divisible by 3 that is important uh, which we could extend if the sum of the number is divisible by 9 if the sum of numbers is divisible by 9 then the number is also divisible by 9 right so so you know now divisibility rules by 3 9 and also 4 for 4 what do we check check last two digits for 4 divisibility by 4 you get it right of course even numbers will be divisible by 2 perfect so what we learned here is this process which we call factor tree so this example is of factor tree correct now let's take uh, one example with repeated division and how we can prime factorize also we should note that 2772 could now be written as product of all these numbers so it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 11 right so you could confirm we can use the calculator if we do 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 11 what do we get 2772 right so that is how you could write this product of prime numbers this is called prime factorization so i hope it is absolutely clear i could write it in shorter way so how many twos i have two i could write this as two square and how many threes this dot represents multiplication for me so i'm writing in a short form three square and well seven times eleven is it okay so that is another way of writing so at times what we can do is we can replace multiplication with dot signs and write it in a shorter form and if there are more than two numbers multiplying by itself we could write them as square or cube right as the case is okay so let's take a few more examples so now we'll do prime factorization of a smaller number and we'll see how to do the method of repeated division so this time I'll do prime factorization with repeated division okay so in repeated division it's a special division which we are going to do and I'm taking example of uh, a number which is uh, let's say 360 let's say, let's say 360 okay so we'll divide 360 repeatedly that is that is what we are going to do now in this repeated division method what we should do is we should try to divide by prime numbers right so again divisibility rules should be known to you right now you can see that this is ending with 0 so it could be divided by 10 it could be divided by 5 also right since uh, 5 is a prime number I'm using 5 not 10 that is important to understand is it okay so we are dividing by 5 5 times 7 is 35 and then we get 10 so we get 72 perfect so now we get a number in the quotient we could divide this further so we'll do repeated division we are moving up do you see that so this is kind of special division now 72 could be divided by 2 it is even number 7 plus 2 is 9 it can be divided by 9 also and 3 also that is important to understand is it okay anyway let's divide by 2 this time so 2 times 3 is 6 we get 12 so 36 right we can still divide 36 since 36 is a composite number so we'll go one more step up and we know it could be divided by the prime number 3 
right so we get 3 times 1 and 3 times 2 so 3 times 12 is 36 12 is a composite number we could further divide this by 3 again right so okay so let's divide by 3 we get 4 and then we'll finally divide it by 2 so we get 2 times 2 as 4 right so do you see how we're kind of moving up with all the prime numbers here all these prime numbers. so so we could write 360 as equal to product of all this means 5 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 let's rearrange or we could say how many twos are there one two three so we'll write two cube two cube means two times two times two perfect times how many threes two right so three square and times five so that is how we can write 360 and this is called prime factorization do you get it right so let's test our result so we have 2 cube times 3 square times 5 it is equal to 360 right so I hope the process is clear you know now how to do prime factorization with two methods one repeated division the other which we did earlier factor tree perfect now here you have seen prime factorization now you have to think about number of factors now the question for you is how many factors will 360 have that is the question for you correct so what you have to do here is uh, you have to list all the factors you have to list all the factors to answer this question right anyway let me tell you the answer here the answer should be 4 times 3 times 2 I mean so those are the number of factors which you could have 4 times 3 12 times 2 24 so the answer is 24 right check if you get the same answer correct so that is your answer you find a way how did I get this formula 4 is 3 plus 1 this 3 is 2 plus 1 and this 5 1 plus 1 that is how I get this formula see does it make sense so that is for you to explore okay here is a thinking question for you on prime factorization so the question is prime factorization of a number n is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 square times 5 times 7. Check if the numbers 8, 32, 35, 42 and 90 are factors of n. Right. So some of them are factors, some of them are not factors. So just check. That is the question. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin by writing the number itself. The number here is n which could be written as 2 cube times 3 square times 5 times 7. It really means 2 cube means 2 times 2 times 2 right. So this is a very short way of writing it. 3 square means multiply by 3 multiply by 3 3 square then we have times 5 and times 7 so these are all the prime factors of the given number n right now we have to check if the factor 8 exists for n or not right so so 8 let's check 8 do we get 8 from these combinations well this combination gives us 8 so that is a factor is it okay now let's see if we can get 32 as a factor so 8 times 4 but we have already consumed all 2's so we cannot make 32 with these numbers and therefore this is not a factor so we get 32 is not 
a factor of n. Do you see that? Since you cannot get it by multiplying these numbers. So that is the importance. Do you agree with me? Now let's look into the next number, 35. Or I think at this stage, you can pause the video, answer, and then look into my solutions. So now let's see if we can make 35. Well, you know, 7 times 5 is 35. So that is fine. So th this is a factor. How about 42? 42 is 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, so do you get 6? Yes, we do. So if I have 1, 7, 3, and 2, I get this combination. 2 times 3 times 7 will be 42. And therefore, 42 will also be a factor that works, correct? How about 90? Well, to get 90, I need 9 times 10. So, to get 90, I need 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 times 5. Do I have these numbers? Well, I have a 2, I have a 5, and I have two 3s. So, that is also a factor. Do you see that? So, I hope you have understood how we can check the factors. Correct? So, the answer is 8 35, 42, and 90 are also factors of n, limited of n. Is that true? But 32 is not a fact. Is it okay? Now, question for you is, what is n? What is n? Can you tell me what is n? Well, n is product of all this. So let's figure this out. So to answer that question, we know n is 2 cube, which is 8, right, times 3 square is 9, times 5, times 7. So let's do using calculator, right? So we have 8 times 9 times 35, 7 times 5. So the number is 25, 20. Do you see that? So we can also get the number from prime factors correct so that's the whole idea so i think with that you understand what is prime factorization and you also understand how to find list of all the prime factors for a given number so here is practice question for you you have to do prime factorization so two methods which we learn first method is making a factor tree you can use factor tree or you could use repeated division, right? And some numbers to work with, you can have a number like 2180. So I'm giving you a slightly bigger number. And uh, well, we could have another number. Let's take a smaller number. So I'm giving you this smaller number for division. So do repeated division here. Is it okay? And for this number, make a factor tree. Does it make sense? Okay. Now, you have to explore how do we figure out number of factors for these from prime factorization. Right? I'll provide you with a link where we will explain all this. Perfect. So, so that's the whole idea. So feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.